woman doesn't know what a good man she's lost until she throws him down. So listen, listen, listen to me. I'll make you understand how a dollar over. Well, I remember John uh, making his debut when he was 16 years old uh, for Leeds at full back. And uh, he did a great job the first game, and he, uh, he had the older players in front of him to look after him, and uh, we did that. As he got older, by the time he got to 19, 20, uh, he got moved to number six, stand off half in them days, and his career just blossomed from there, and he became such a great player. Uh, as a coach's point of view, he was so easy to coach, so he's so, so relaxed and unassuming uh, player. Uh, he was very quiet off the field, but when he was on the field, what a goal kicker he was in his early days. Coming up, can have a drop. He was just just so laid back, John. He, uh, he he wasn't like the the other young players that were in the team, like David Ward and David Uren and Les Dill and Kevin Dick and oh, I can mention many more. He was just quite unassuming player all his playing career. I mean, he just got on with it and did it, and then wanted to be away from it uh, for some reason. I don't know. John was such an humble uh, guy, and uh, I'll tell you one little ga game we played, and we would we had quite a few injuries. I stuck John in the second row when I was coach, and he wasn't pleased about that at all. Uh, but he played the game because we we wanted a couple of ball players in this particular game, and uh, he, he he played, but he wasn't very happy about it. It had to be scored, and he needed. Strength and it came a lovely pass from home, and then it looked as if Cookson had been stopped, but he took three with him and the jump for joy. He had a lot of good, experienced players around him to look after him, and uh, yours truly, when I were playing with him, if uh, anything happened to him, uh, the other player from the other team had to have a little bit of back from me, but. Uh, yeah, he took the bumps, we know malice, uh, and just got on with the game. Being at one club, he actually was there, I think, longer than I was, and I did nearly 20 years. Uh, I think John did a little bit longer. And to play 629 games, uh, just shows you, he, he got through the games, okay, without a lot of injuries, John, and uh, played on and played on and played on. Uh, like myself, till the middle 30s, I think, uh, and a one club man, like we were in them days. Many of the players that uh, John played with uh, at Leeds stayed at Leeds all the career, never left the club. It was such a fantastic place to be, Leeds Rugby League Club. You know, I live out in Australia now, of course, and a lot of you know that, and uh, you know, it's a great achievement to have a bronze statue. Uh, what they're doing for John. Uh, it's similar to the ones that's uh, up in Brisbane, but they've got about eight of the bronze statues outside their ground. But, uh, but this is the beginning of what maybe could happen in the future at any way, and it's uh, a great, great thing that's uh, happening. And uh, recognising John as such a great super player. Here we are, John. We've got John Holmes as well. Classic. John? What's this? Here we go. It's coming through it now. Oh. Left foot as well. Talking about what I'm with How about that? Both feet. Now, we were aware at that stage that uh, what, in fact, that, uh, you were really very, very close at that stage, weren't you? Right at the end of the match, at every single point yeah, matter. Yeah, but we seem to have got on top of that point, and you know, we got in front from that way. Now, what sort, what sort of a game was it from your point of view? I mean, uh, was it absolutely frantic? It was a very quick moving well, yeah, game to watch. Very fast, yeah, we were asked to play. We got in front for the first ten minutes, took us by surprise. 
But we thought we had in the last 10 minutes and second half and we got on top of that way.